Hi, I'm Josh Bauman. I'm an Applications Engineer at Hanna Instruments and today I'm going to be demonstrating the difference between a single junction and a double junction electrode. Here we have the body of an electrode. Inside the body of the electrode we have the inner sensing tube. Inside the inner sensing tube we have the sensing wire. Outside the inner sensing tube we have the reference chamber. If we add the reference wire directly inside the reference chamber and then add the cap on the end, we have a single junction electrode. In the single junction electrode, there's one barrier between the reference wire and the solution being measured, and that's the reference junction. If instead of adding the reference wire directly, we add the reference wire inside an additional tube with, a reference, with another junction at the end of the tube, and add that inside the reference chamber and then add the cap we have a double junction electrode so in order for the reference wire to make contact with the solution it has to pass through this inner junction as well as passing through this outer reference junction the reason for a double junction electrode is that the reference wire needs to be surrounded by a 3.5 molar KCL solution with silver and when silver is in contact with heavy metals or tris buffers it tends to precipitate or come out of solution this can clog the reference junction so by adding a second tube in the reference chamber will only fill the outside reference chamber with a 3.5 molar KCL solution without the silver and on this inner tube we'll add the 3.5 molar KCL solution with the silver in it so that the silver is not going to come in contact with the heavy metals or the tris buffers so you're not going to get a clogged junction. Thank you for watching the video and for more information go to hannainst.com